Hey, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Uh, I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through, and we are going to be looking at uh, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. And, and what it means, it's, it's real simple, that, that Jesus is with us, that He is God with us. See, I think for many of us, that's probably our, our, our biggest fear is to be abandoned, right? Is to have nobody around, uh, to, to, to be in our, our deepest, like, like most profound hour of need and no one's there to help. It, it, it's really important, right? That we have somebody, and especially somebody that can help. Because here's the deal. Uh, we all know people that when they show up, man, no one's happy, it, right? And so people dread that they're gonna be there. Maybe it's at a party, maybe it's, maybe it's somebody at work, and you're like, man, they just make things worse. But then there's other people, man, who just make everything better. Like life and, and, and everything that you do is just so much better. It's something you look forward to because they're going to be there. Uh, and so I'm praying that I, I want us to be the kind of people who, who people are going to look forward to being with, right? Like when we show up, Jesus shows up because he's with us. See, see how, how much that matters? So this is, we always think, like, oh, it's important that we believe in something. It's, yeah, it is, but, but this goes deeper than that, right? I believe Jesus died for me. I believe he rose for me. I believe I have that. Now I have peace with God because of that. But, but now I have Christ in me, right? It, it, it's, it's not just a part of my life, it is my life. He is all that I am and all that I need. And so that's the heart of Christmas. That's the heart of this preparation time called Advent as we're waiting for Christmas. Look at, look at these words from Matthew's Gospel, Matthew 1, 23. And this was uh, the prophet, right, had, had spoken these words. This is straight out of, of the prophets. Behold, the, the virgin shall conceive and give birth and bear, and bear a son, right? And, and, you, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. So that's not just some title, some religious sounding name that we tacked on uh, during Christmas time so we can put it on a, you know, a t-shirt or a, you know, or some kind of decoration for our house. No. The prophet, long before Jesus was, was even conceived or any of that happened, talked about this, that, that it would be a virgin, right, that, that, that she would give birth to a son, and that, that, that he would have that, that description, let's say, because he is God with us. Let that sink in today and, and every day to say, you know what, I'm never alone because so many of us feel alone. I feel like nobody cares, but God is there. He does care, and He is with us. And we as a church, man, we can be the hands and feet. We can be the people that, the, the living human beings that are right there with the people around us. Okay, so in the song we're going to look at today, and I want you to, it'll be in the description, it, it's from a band called Big Daddy Weave, and it's a song called Peace on Earth. And I love this one because it really talks about the, the fact that, you know, Jesus lives in the, the author's heart, the guy who's singing the song, saying that's what matters, that's what's in, so important, that God is, is, is here in me, with me. Every day, He's there. That's where that peace comes from, because He brings healing, and He brings hope. So again, hope that song helps turn it on, turn it loud, uh, and, and just, you know, just take in the words, take in the melodies. It's just awesome, awesome stuff. And I just pray that it helps you. So if it does, please share this with somebody. And also, uh, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and, uh, and you'll get notifications. All right, talk to you next time for another follow-through.